Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of two semifinal matchups in the Cage Warriors Lightweight Tournament. It is scheduled for two five-minute rounds. After two rounds, if there is a draw, there will be a third and final overtime round. Introducing first, fighting to my left out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, standing five feet seven inches tall. His official weight, 154.7 pounds. With an outstanding professional record, consisting of 12 wins against three defeats. Hailing off from Burnley, Lancashire, England. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Mick the English Bull Terrier Sinclair. And his opponent fighting to my right out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and Kempo karate fighter, standing five feet nine inches tall. His official weight, 154.1 pounds. His record also impressive, 23 victories against four defeats. Joining us from Gopchikovo, Slovakia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ivan Buki Buhinger. And our free charge, Rich Mitchell. So, Rich, no nonsense. Mitchell draws the assignment of this semi final lightweight tournament bout. We have Mick the English Bull Terrier Sinclair in the black shorts with the white detail. Ivan Bushinger, black shorts with the red detail. Scheduled for two fives with a possible overtime round. Get involved on the social media using the hashtag CWFC60. Who you got? Lightweight tournament action. Very thick set is Mick Sinclair looking very full, 155 pounds. And just landing a couple of good early kicks on Bushinger. I get the idea that Sinclair really wants this. He sees this as such a, a wonderful topping on his long career. I mean, it's so interesting, isn't it, John? Because, of course, back in the, the middle of 2012, he was sort of thinking about, should he retire? Will he ever really compete again? And here he is, really, on a tear, coming after this Cage Warriors gold, uh, gold belt. Still only 31, so plenty of years left. And Bushinger just 27 with with 27 contests behind him as well. Really good head position from Sinclair. You can see him constantly trying to put that forehead back in the chin of the Slovakian. Just ahead of his Predators corner where oh, his brother good. Rob Sinclair is sat yeah. giving him a lot of instructions Double. and a nice takedown there Double from under Sinclair. For Mick Sinclair managed to grab the leg reap in the process and earn himself a good uh, top half guard here. You can see he's just taking his time, establishing that position. Sinclair is so very tough. He was always go going to get go. in the face of Bushinger. And I'm surprised to see him get the takedown so early, especially with the Greco-Roman credentials that Bushinger has and a nice Ooh. elbow. Oh, really That's nice uh, movement from Sinclair there. A huge suplex, he looks for it. Trying to get the hooks in, a lot of scrambling from Bushinger in defence, who's going after an ankle pick now. Sinclair fighting without any pressure, he tells me. Just here for the pure enjoyment. That really does make him, it, it just makes him so very dangerous. It really was a beautiful scramble from Sinclair. He, he looked to, to go to the back and then, uh, you know, Bushinger really had to, to get quickly on his horse to, to try and defend that turtle position. And, Use the ankle pick to then stand back up, but Sinclair showing a lot of intent very early in this fight. So Bushinger is about to show Sinclair that he too has some wrestling credentials. Good position of the head. Trying to offset the balance of the English Bull Terrier, who has brought with him a, a really hefty crowd. Good support here for the Englishman. Good work on the inside from Sinclair, who fires some huge uppercuts and a, a great elbow, and he's calling Bushinger on now. Yeah, good dirty boxing there from Sinclair, goading his opponent. He's going to use everything, all the professional techniques, <laughs> to try and get the edge this evening. Yeah, really trying to get in the head of Bushinger, who I have to say is ordinarily incredibly calm and composed in the build-up and in the cage. Well, Bushinger has faced... One man who will is the, the most devastating mental game, and that is uh, Conor that McGregor. Is. A very heavy lead kick there from Mick Sinclair. 
you know, pushing it. He does often go quite deep in fights, and of course, only two rounds here, initially at least, in these semi-final bouts. Looking at Sinclair's record, his only defeats have come by submission. Good spinning combination attempted there by Bushinger. Missing the mark, though. Sinclair being urged to set up that leg kick. Use the hands first. And he's finding the mark with that right low kick over and over again. Well, it's Sinclair leading the dance here in the first round as we count down in the last minute. Oh, nice. Good change, change of level, level. Yeah, to the body lock. Bushinger's a real athlete in this weight category, though. It is. I mean, this is a, a very interesting position to see what Bushinger does, because this body lock was, a, was very strong from Sinclair when he landed it earlier in the round. See if you also saw, oh, I was just going to say some more sharp elbows. This is just perfect for Sinclair. He really, he just wants to grab a hold of Bushinger and take him into the trenches. Make it uncomfortable, make it nasty, make it untidy. This is exactly the game plan yeah, I mean, from the Predators. He's turning it into a scrap. I mean, Bushinger tried Nucci Mata with a head grip there. To no avail, though, he's got a 50-50 over, uh, over under control here. But this first round really has been Sinclair pushing forward with a lot of pressure and having a lot of success. Looking to secure uh, a take the ball right the ring. on the buzzer. Will they all count? And I have to say, in a tournament, points certainly mean prizes, Josh. And they will be trying to clock those up. Oh, and Bushinger is looking very, very worried to his corner here. He's bust the rib. Yeah, he may well have done. Yeah, he's either bust the rib or one of his intercostals is giving him, giving him some trouble. Let's have a look at some of these replays. Sinclair just egging Bushinger on. There was the, the late Uchi Mata. But Really good control up against the cage from Sinclair. Kept his hips in very tight and went to work with the elbows and the uppercuts. Yeah, this is, this is a real worry, Josh. Sorry, whilst you were explaining the action, I'm taking a look into the Bushinger, into the red corner, and, and he is hurting. Um, there's something very wrong with his rib. Oh, we can see that. Look on the right pectoral muscle, oh, just yes, underneath the right pec. Popped out horribly. There is either a rib that's out or, or some some sort of cartilage issue there. Watch the left body shot come in from Mick Sinclair now. Let's well, see if he Bushinger sees it. Bushinger is just going for it now. He yeah. knows he's injured. He's got another fight if he wins this one. And that is, that is not a good sign for Bushinger. Sinclair's smiling at his corner as he talks and some wow. huge shots on the inside. A lot of intensity coming from Sinclair now. He's so intimidating. Such a powerful frame for a lightweight competitor. And I th it could have well been that last takedown that caused that, yeah, it could well that have been. issue. Because Bushinger fell slightly awkwardly. Really nice level change from Sinclair, who's in on the hips. Ooh. And a huge pickup. Well, this is where if... if Oh, Bushinger. Bushinger is injured. He's going to really struggle yeah, here he's with trying, his grappling. He's trying to get underneath, go to deep half. You can see he tried to scoot his body all the way under Sinclair. Sinclair clamped down on his head, turned the chin, and said, no way, mate, you're staying flat right where you are. Sinclair steps out of danger, immediately goes for the no, double that, unders body lock. Such good control he's got from here. He gets the head in under the chin. He can really just contort Bushinger any way he feels like it. The Sinclairs, Sinclair brothers have been such a big part of UK mixed <laughs> martial arts. <laughs> and and look at Sinclair just smiling right in the dome of Bushinger. Oh, again, body lock. Nice throw from Bushinger around the head. He's in much more of a judo. Kezukatami is he's looking for the arm lock here. Wow, if he can lock that hand underneath the uh, underneath his underneath knee and hyperextend through his hips. You know who'll be watching this, Sean Carter, thinking if somehow Bushinger can get a submission, he's not going to be able to continue with the rib injury, surely. But Oh, wow, he's got the crank on the arm. And he gets the tap. Oh, wow. Ivan Buki Bushinger is victorious My in our first semi-final contest. And what a turn of events. Wow. That was that amazing, one. but I have to just pause for a minute. The Bushinger camp are, are not celebrating. 
that he's looking down at his rib. And I, I mean, he's, he's now cranking out a smile. He's looking well, for that belt. To see how he feels that in a couple of minutes. That was quite something. And I just want to take out a look at this. Well, Nick Sinclair well, has invited Bushinga down. Let, let's just have what a look a, at the replay, John. What a lot of class that man Great just showed. Throw, and here was the crank. It's classic judo. It was a, a throw into a judo Kazakatami where you control the head. And then a Kimura grip set up by the legs. Yeah, it's a shoulder brutal, lock from it's there. a brutal shoulder lock. You can contort your hips into it. I the guy's rotator gonna, cuff has nowhere to go. I thought he was going to hyperextend on the point of the elbow, but he, he turned it round onto the shoulder. Wow. Put some pressure on Bushinger and look what, what happened. What a start to our tournament. Right, well, it's time to throw it over to Ray Flores to make it all the official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 59 seconds of the second round for your winner by way of Tabadu to Modified Americana. And now moving on to the finals of the Cage Warriors Lightweight Tournament Championship. Ivan Buki Buhinger. So congratulations to Bushinger. We're going to take a close look at that injury and see how this plays out. Hopefully, we shall see him in the final. He is the deserving victor after all.